past 11. So good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for today's webinar. Uh, we're certainly very excited to have everyone with us. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Craig O'Loughlin and I'm the Head of Partnerships and Growth at Club Plus Super. And joining me today is one of our member service managers, Shane Skeen. Good morning, Shane. Yeah, good morning, Craig, and good morning, everybody, live from my humble abode here in Western Sydney. Beautiful. So look, today's webinar is really important, guys. I know many of you are experiencing some pretty tough times as a result of COVID-19. Some of those things you know, include perhaps being stood down or having your hours severely reduced. We know there's questions about superannuation and returns, and perhaps the number one concern is about the health risk to yourself and your family. So hopefully throughout today's session, we can address some of those issues for you. Shane. Yeah, thanks, Craig. There's no doubt there's a lot of information to understand and work out what applies to you and what might help to navigate a way through the next period of time, however long that might be, which is still uncertain, of course. But things are looking up after the easing of restrictions commenced in New South Wales last Friday. But these are still uncertain times and we hope to give you a bit more information and a clearer view of the way forward. So today I want to share some information which we hope will answer some of the more common questions our call centre has been receiving but to also include those questions you've sent through to us. So what are we going to cover today? We'll cover what financial support is available from the government, what other financial support you might have access to, some budgeting tools that might be helpful, some important changes that concern your super, your investments and the insurance cover you may currently have in place. And we'll also have the opportunity to answer some of those more frequently asked questions. Yeah, and just on those questions, guys, we, we do have a Q&A available throughout today's session. So type in your question into the Q&A box, click send, and we have Faye, one of our wonderful VIP specialists, standing by to answer as many questions as possible. Uh, also, time pending, we might, uh, we might run through a couple of questions at the end of this as well, Shane. So, look, we're looking to try and knock over the, uh, the session in about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, that'll get us through most of the topics, but please, if you need more information, uh, always reach out to myself or Shane, uh, give our contact center a buzz. You know, we're always certainly here to help. Now, before we get started, well, we do have to cover off some of the boring but important legal obligations. Uh, so I might get Shane to run through a bit of housekeeping. We will. We'll get through this and we'll get to the good stuff. Now, I do need to start by letting you know that today I'll be sharing general information, which means it does not take into account your individual investment objectives, financial or insurance situation or particular needs. I want to make sure that if you hear something today that you feel is really useful and might help, please don't act on it. Make sure you get some specific advice on how to apply the information to your own circumstances first. Because if you happen to use that information incorrectly, you could risk putting yourself in a potentially worse position. If you'd like some help putting any of this information in place, I can provide you with some further general information. If you'd like some personal advice, we recommend you use a financial planner. So don't forget we can put you in touch with Matt Davey, who is the financial planner at Club Plus Financial Planning. I do know we've had some members decide to bring forward their retirement due to club closures. So if you're, if you're one of those, I encourage you to reach out and make an appointment. But of course, anyone can take advantage of a free consultation with Matt. I also need to let you know that Club Plus Financial Planning is an associated company of Club Plus Superannuation. Excellent. Okay, so let's get into it. The first session uh, we want to talk about is around those government support initiatives that are available. Now, I know some of these have been around for a number of weeks now, and, and I understand that some of you have probably already applied or in the process of doing so. So we, we won't spend too much time on it, but I think it is important that we quickly run through these, uh, these support initiatives. Because we still are receiving a few questions through our contact centre and, and our guys, um, our MSMs as well. So Shane, I might get you to start us off and, and talk through the three main government payment initiatives that everyone needs to be aware of. Okay, let's get into it. The, the first is JobSeeker, which provides a supplementary payment each fortnight in addition to the normal unemployment benefit or Newstart, both of which can be applied for online. The supplementary payment is an additional $550 per fortnight with a streamlined application process and reduced means testing and waiting times. So the process should be fairly seamless. Now, before you apply for JobSeeker, check with your employer to make sure they have not already included you in their JobKeeper application. That's important because you cannot claim both. Unemployment benefits or New Start is from $565.70 a fortnight for a single and $110.80 per person for a couple. 
and the easiest way to claim is online through MyGov. Now, JobKeeper is the second type of financial support available from the government that's paid to businesses and passed on to eligible employees as wages. A minimum fortnightly payment of $1,500 before tax for full-time and part-time employees and includes staff that have been stood down. Now, if you're a casual, which I know affects a lot of you, you would have needed to have been with the same employer for at least the previous 12 months from the 1st of March. If you normally earn less than $1,500 a fortnight, you will receive the maximum payment. If you normally earn more than $1,500 for the fortnight and are rostered to work, you will receive your normal income amount. Now, the third and final government assistance we're covering today are one-off supplementary payments. These are an additional payment of $750 paid in April and July, but only if you are already receiving payments through Centrelink. You can find more information about these financial support packages on the Australian Government Services website. One thing I will mention, guys, is there are penalties for incorrect information when applying for any of these government assistance initiatives. So please be careful and accurate with the information you submit on your application. Yeah, very important. So Shane, these financial initiatives that you've just spoken about obviously would be extremely valuable, but are there other support opportunities that we should be looking at? Yeah, there certainly are, Craig. Naturally, it's better to use someone else's money before you run, and in this case, it's the government. But you could also get support from your local bank or credit union. So that's the other financial support you could potentially have access to that's not from the government. We all have banks or credit unions that we deal with for our daily banking needs, loans, credit cards, personal loans and insurances. So I want to talk about other financial support that you might be able to access through these institutions. Now, if you have a loan, it may be worthwhile exploring whether they might offer a repayment holiday. Some banks are now offering a three to six month mortgage pause. Some are offering more time to pay. And if you're a business, you can defer your business loan for up to six months. There could be other areas that your bank could assist in relation to other credit facilities you have. For example, a reduction in interest charges, fees, or the extension of repayment periods. Each lender is going to be different. So contact your bank or provider to see what they can do for you. A few other avenues to explore include checking your electricity and gas plans, ringing your pay TV provider, and even checking your mobile phone plan. Don't be afraid to ask. You'll never know unless you ask the question. You can also find more information at www.business.gov.au. Now, tenant and rental assistance is another form of government support that is it's relatively new and may go some way towards easing your burden if you're a renter or investor. The New South Wales government is introducing an interim 60-day stop on landlords seeking to evict tenants due to rental arrears because of COVID-19, together with a longer six-month restriction on rental arrears evictions for those financially disadvantaged by COVID-19. This information is specifically for New South Wales, so please review your relevant state for other support programs if that applies to you. The federal government also announced a six-month evictions moratorium, which means no tenant can be evicted from their property during this time. The government is also looking at ways to provide rental assistance and further announcements are expected soon. Now, as I said, this information relates to New South Wales. You can check out the latest updates on your relevant state government website, for example, newsouthwales.gov.au and search for COVID-19. Excellent. Thanks, Shane. So look, I know this next section is probably the uh, part of the webinar that most of you are very interested in, and that's around accessing some of your superannuation early. Now, whether you're with Club Plus or someone else, I know we've got people joining us today. Um, this applies to you guys. And Shane, can you explain how this early release of superannuation works? You're right, Craig. We've received a lot of interest in this particular topic, so I'll try and run through it. Uh, as best I can and give you that information. Um, the third type of government support available, as we mentioned, is the early release of superannuation. Now, the government is allowing individuals affected by the coronavirus to access up to $10,000 of their superannuation this financial year and next. But there are a number of criteria for early access. For citizens and permanent residents of Australia or New Zealand, one or more of the following must apply. You're unemployed, you're eligible to receive a job seeker payment, youth allowance for job seekers, parenting payment, special benefit or farm household allowance, or on or after the 1st of January 2020, you've been retrenched, your role was made redundant, or your working hours were reduced by 20% or more, or if you're a sole trader, your business was suspended, or there was a reduction in your turnover of 20% or more. 
Now, if you're a temporary resident, different eligibility rules apply. So please contact us and we can give you those details. It's really important to be aware, and as the government also reinforces, the prime purpose of superannuation is to help people save for retirement. But accessing your super early may outweigh the benefits of maintaining those savings until retirement. But remember that withdrawing money from your super after a major fall in the investment markets can effectively lock in the loss. Now we've actually done some work that is up on our website to show the impact this may have to your long-term retirement savings. For an example, someone that is aged 40 that draws $20,000 out of their super has the potential to negatively impact their final balance at retirement age of 67 by $57,046. Now you can visit our Club Plus Super website that can give you information very specific to your age. Yeah, Shane, just a reminder, we now have the early release calculator on our website. So that's up and running and allows, allows our members to simply jump in, input their age, and it'll calculate the possible impact on super. So I know a lot of people are doing it tough and they need to access their superannuation, but a good tool to use to understand the possible impacts. Yeah, it's a really helpful calculator. Now, if you decide to access your super under these revised early release rules, applications are not made through Club Plus. All applications to early release of your super needs to be done by logging into MyGov. The ATO are the ones who make the final decision on your application. And with the information we have available at the moment, it suggests payments will be made in a 10 day period from the time your application is approved. Yeah, so Shane, what you're talking about here is really interesting. Staff may be able to access their retirement funds now. However, they need to understand the impact that it might have on retirement. So I guess someone could look at all those government support initiatives first before using their own retirement funds. Is that right? Absolutely, Craig. It makes good financial sense to limit, if not eliminate altogether, the need to use your own money if you can make do using government and your own bank support programs that we've just covered. Guys, it's important to make sure you understand the cost of accessing your super. So that's all the types of in financial support available, but what else can you do to support yourself during these uncertain times? Now, at the moment during lockdown, most people aren't spending as much money as we would normally. You guys are spending better than most. There's no eating out at most venues yet, unless they've decided to open for less than 10 patrons if you're in New South Wales. There's no going to your local club for a beer, music concerts, meeting up with a friend at your local cafe, or cheering on your favourite footy team like the mighty Parramatta Eels, which is one of the things I miss most. If you're like me, you're spending a lot less money. Sure, if you're also like me, you're probably spending a little more on food and alcohol, but less money overall. So how well do you know right now what income you will get versus what you are going to spend over the next few weeks and months? Do you know how much money you will need so you can get through this stage to the other side? It's a really good idea to take some time, and we do have plenty of that at the moment, and do a corona budget. And when I first heard that, I thought that was, it was a budget to buy more beer, but it goes much deeper than that. It doesn't have to be flash, it's just for you, whatever works best for you. But on a piece of paper, or you can go to websites like Money Smart and use their budgeting tool to work out how much you would need for rent, groceries, and other outgoings. Or you can even access a clever budgeting app such as Pocketbook or Money Brilliant. It's all about planning and making sure you know exactly where you are financially. If you have more expenses than income, then see what can be eliminated from your spending. You just might be surprised how it can help not only now, but continue to help long after COVID-19 has gone. Yeah, I think you're right, Shane. I, I certainly spend more money on food and probably a little bit too much on alcohol, but gee, there's not much else to spend your money on. So I do like the idea of a Corona budget. Um, now look guys, I want to run you through a couple of legislative changes that could have a real impact if you are looking at that early release of super that Shane discussed. So these recently introduced laws were designed to protect your super by making sure your balance isn't eroded by fees and costs for any services or products that you might not need, particularly around insurance. And this is called PMIF, putting members interests first, and PYS, protecting your super. The government certainly likes an acronym. So what does all that mean? Well, it means if you have insurance, it may be canceled or have already been canceled if your balance is less than $6,000 or if you have an inactive account, meaning you haven't contributed to your super in the last 16 months. So it's important to note if any of these apply to you and you haven't opted in to receive insurance by the 1st of April this year, then you will not have insurance inside your super, okay? Really important, guys, if you're unsure, please check. You can either log into your account via our member access 
or give our contact center a ring on the 1800 number. Um, extremely important to make sure you understand your cover. Now, the other reason I wanted to mention the PMIF and PYS is because if you take the early release opportunity, so withdrawing some funds out of your super, you need to be mindful of your account balance and the implications it may have on your insurance. So if you were to withdraw the whole balance, then your insurance will cease from the day we pay you. However, if you leave a small amount in your super account, you need to make sure that there's enough there to pay the ongoing premiums if you want to keep that insurance. Okay, so let's get into that insurance a little bit more. We get a lot of questions on this over the coming weeks and it's important you understand. Now, I know a few of you out there, as I said earlier, are not with Club Plus, so I do encourage you to reach out to your own super fund and check on these, uh, check on the insurance. Now, if you're like me, I've got three kids and a mortgage and I put all my insurance inside my super with Club Plus. Now, that's there to protect my family, so it's important I understand and you understand your current cover through this whole COVID-19. So firstly, let's look at death and TPD. If you still have death and TPD inside your Club Plus account, it will remain active as long as you have enough balance to cover the premiums and your account isn't inactive for 16 months. So this means even if you're out of work, your death and TPD cover can continue, okay? Now, income protection is a little different. Income protection is designed to cover you against injury or illness to yourself. It does not cover you for loss of job or being stood down due to club closure. So unfortunately, it's not business insurance. It covers your income against an injury or an illness. Now, this in essence means your income protection has stopped once you stop working. The good news, however, once you return to work, which hopefully sooner rather than later, already uh, easing of restrictions, um, your income protection will reactivate once we receive the first employer payment. Okay, again, as long as you don't fall into those two categories of PMIF or PYS. So that means as soon as you go back to work, the boss pays you your first bit of uh, superannuation, your income protection can reactivate. Okay, now there's a lot to take in here. So please again, reach out to myself or Shane or, or our contact center. You can always log on to your member access. And again, for those of you who, who are not with Club Plus joining us today, please reach out to your super fund and, and check on those insurance covers. It's really important. Yeah, in the next part of this presentation, I want to talk briefly about how the coronavirus pandemic may have affected your investments and your super, an area that I have received a number of calls about. Now, as you know, investment markets have been volatile as a result of COVID-19. It doesn't matter what super funds you're with, whether Club Plus or somebody else, you've probably seen the balance go up and down over recent months because the market has been very volatile. Now look, I understand that's scary. Just one more thing to worry about at the moment and we don't need to add to our anxiety, do we? You may be thinking about changing your superannuation investment option, moving to cash, or if you can, even withdrawing your funds because you need them. But before you do anything, you need to have all the information in front of you so you can make an informed decision. Changing an investment option now could mean crystallising your losses. It's, it's a bit like selling your house when prices are down. Have a look at the graph which shows over time how the value of $10,000 has changed in 25 years. Look at the GFC and imagine taking your money out then or waiting five years and seeing your money double. Now it can work the other way as well, taking your money out when the market is at a high just before the market falls. The most important message to take from this is to please consider your personal circumstances and your investment time horizon. When do you plan to retire? You may have time to ride out the dip in the market. And if you need help, please obtain professional financial advice. Take the opportunity to arm yourself with more information. Go to our Club Plus Super website, read our special investment update or the message from our CEO, Stefan Strano. Information is powerful to making an informed decision. Now that's some of the ways you can prepare your financial situation for the journey ahead. But finances and super is not as important as your personal well-being something I'm certainly very passionate about. So how can you prepare you and make sure that you, as the most important person here, can get through these challenging times? I wanna take you through some ideas that our partner Superfriend have come up with to get you started. The first is to keep learning. Now you can tune in daily to Taronga Zoo TV to see your favorite animals, meet their friendly keepers and learn what goes on behind the scenes at Taronga while their zoos are temporarily closed. I personally love this tool and have watched it with my girls FYI, the meerkats are my personal favourites. And just between you and I, I could watch them for hours. They're fascinating. You can also take a virtual museum tour or sign up for free online art classes. 
checking out websites like the Museum of Modern Art. Or you can even feed your mind by joining your local library online to download ebooks, audiobooks, and other e resources. The second thing is to help others. Keep in touch with others who are living alone or older and would appreciate a phone call or some help getting the groceries. Like I've encouraged our staff at Club Plus, reach out to your friends and colleagues during this time. The third thing is to be kind to yourself and aware of your own stress levels. If you need to reach out, consider organisations such as Lifeline or even download helpful apps such as Smiling Mind, Headspace or a podcast like the ABC's Mindfully. The fourth is to keep active. Do not forget to exercise. Now recently I invested in a new boxing bag and whilst I won't be taking on Mike Tyson anytime soon, if he's watching, it certainly works for me. But you could take a walk, get out into nature, watch a YouTube workout, or download a fitness app like Chris Hemsworth's free trial for the ladies. Just make sure you do adhere to social distancing guidelines, of course. And the fifth and final way, guys, is to stay connected. Keep in touch with friends and family through phone calls, video chats using online tools such as Microsoft Teams or Slack. I know I've also used Zoom and I'll definitely be using House Party to celebrate my birthday online this Friday. You can also join an online book or video club to keep your mind active and meet like-minded people. Yeah, thanks Shane. Some really good ideas to keep yourself healthy whilst at home, guys. I know I try and exercise uh, most days with my kids, although it does get a little embarrassing when you can't keep up with your eight-year-old daughter. Now, Faye, our VIP specialist, has been answering questions behind the scene, um, hopefully getting those answers you're after. But I'm just looking at the time here, Shane, and we do, have, uh, we do have some time to run through a couple of questions that have come through. So I'll grab a couple up and let's get through some. So here's one. If my balance is under $10,000 and I withdraw the whole amount under early, re uh, early release, will my account stay open for when I go back to work? Yeah, great question. No, unfortunately, your account won't stay open and you would need to open another Club Plus account when you recommence work. However, this is really simple and can be done by using by the club or your employer using our super clearing house or by yourself online, which is really simple as well. Remember, I can also personally help you rejoin when you're ready. The same applies for anyone out there not with Club Plus Super who would like to join us on resumption of work. Just be aware, as Craig covered earlier, that your death, TPD and IP insurance will not be automatically allocated to your new account, even if you had cover in your old account. If you wanted insurance cover, you would need to opt in to be covered within the first 60 days of opening that new account. Uh, excellent, Shane. So it is simple. For those wanting to rejoin and anyone out there who wants to join us for the first time, certainly easily done. Uh, another one here, Shane. If I want a super fund, can I choose the fund I would like to withdraw the $10,000 from? Absolutely. If you have more than one super fund with over $10,000 in each, you can choose which fund you make the early release of super from, or, or you can take some from each of the funds. For example, $6,000 from one fund and $4,000 from the other. Fantastic. That certainly makes it easier. And we might squeeze one more in. If I have been uh, making personal contributions to my Club Plus account, is it okay to continue this, but have those payments deducted from my JobKeeper payment? Yeah, the short answer is yes. You can continue your contributions into your super, whether they are concessional or non-concessional. Non-concessional being those personal contributions you just mentioned. Guys, I know we're just about uh, out of time. So for more answers to commonly asked questions, you can refer to the FAQs on the news section of the Club Plus Super website, Craig. Fantastic. So look, we've, we've covered a lot in the 25 minutes today. Um, we spoke about the financial support and issues from the government, uh, other support options that are available. Uh, Shane ran through some budgeting tools that might help and probably the meat of the, the session around your super investments and of course insurance cover. So we will send you all a, a follow up email guys where you can access all the information from today's session. Remembering you can reach out via uh, your online member access, our contact centre or we'll simply give Shane or myself a buzz. Now, at the end of this, uh, you will be sent a seven question uh, feedback form. It's, it'll only take a minute. Uh, we'd love your feedback. We certainly want to improve these sessions. So open to any and all feedback, that would be appreciated. So look, good luck guys. I know things are, are pretty tough out there as we navigate these crazy times, but no doubts we'll come back out the other side bigger and better um, and, uh, and keep yourself and your family safe. And I'll pass over to Shane for the final words. 
Yeah, well said. I'd like to reiterate Craig's words and, and thank everyone for joining us today, whether you're a member of Club Plus or not. I hope you found the information we covered in today's webinar helpful. Stay safe, remember to look out for each other and, and please reach out if you'd like to get in touch. I know my contact details are on the Club Plus website along with the other member service managers. Thanks again and take care everyone.